Well, welcome back after reading week, or ski week, or going south week, whatever you want to call it. Now this time, we are doing the electrophilic edition, or the bromination of still bean. And so, we need 100 milliliter round bottom flask with the stir bar, clamped into place. There we go. And, as usual, we need space to get our heating mantle in and out. And here I have my powder funnel and my trans still bean. And it goes. Notice how neatly I fold, folded my little weighing paper. Off we go. And we need some ethanol. So far, very user friendly. And our heating mantle goes into place. And up goes that. A little bit of stirring. And for safety's sake, we'll have a little bit of cooling. Cooling water in the bottom. Cooling water out the top. Excellent. Nice and straight. Securely clamped. The heating mantle plugged into the power supply. The power supply is plugged into the wall. And we'll go to about a 50 setting. And we need to heat this to dissolve the trans still being before we add the next reagent. It's important that we have a nice clear solution. Solids don't react very well. Therefore, we dissolve them with a little heat. There, thank you for reminding me to put on my goggles. Now, this next reagent, pyridinium hydrobromide per bromide, or pyridinium tribromide, is a solid derivative of bromine and pyridine hydrobromide, obviously. Bromine is a nasty, nasty liquid. So instead, we use this milder form. However, we're going to wear some gloves, whether they're the big gloves or disposable gloves, we're going to wear gloves. So I'm going to go really quickly weigh it out. And here I have in my dry beaker my pyridinium tribromide. I don't want to get this ahead of time because I don't want it sitting around. So I've weighed it, I'm going to use it right now. So, take my little condenser off the top here. Oh, better clamp that somewhere safe. Powder funnel with the big hole. In it goes. And in one fell swoop, in goes the pyridinium tribromide. This I gotta clean up right away. But first, get the cooling back on. And you can see that lovely color that started in even a precipitate already. Excellent. So resume heating. And that'll be about 10 more minutes, and then we'll go to the filtration. Immediately, disposable gloves off, because these will hurt you if they're dirty. Okay, now I've put my reaction here on ice water, and the nice ice water bath cooled it down. I've continued the stirring doesn't really matter. Anyway, nice and cold, got lots of solid there in this sort of yellow solution. And I've got everything I need for my filtration. I have my suction flask with the uh, adapter here for putting the vacuum on. What you cannot see is the flask is clamped, so it can't fall over. You need to have one of these cone-shaped neoprene adapters to go in there. The Buchner funnel, bigger one, and it's got holes in it. We need to cover up the holes with a piece of filter paper. That goes on like that. Vacuum on here, and the flask clamped, and then we can do our filtration. I've got one ready right here. I also have my wash solvent ready, beaker of ice water, and my wash solvent, the methanol we require, has been nice and cold and waiting for us. So all I have to do is give my flask a swirl, and in one smooth motion, pour all the contents into the flask. Just like that, and it's done. And you'll notice the stir bar stayed in the flask because I hold a magnet in my hand while I do it. So, 
The solvent has sucked through. Now we have our wash solvent. Don't be shy, give it a good dousing and another good dousing. And we use methanol because the product is not as soluble. And finally, we just leave it here and let the vacuum suck air through the compound and get it nice and dry. Okay, we've got a couple more things to do before we can finish up. So I've cleaned my work area and wiped everything down. This is actually very important. Careful chemists do this because if you spill your compound on the bench and the bench is clean, you can just sweep it up again. <laughs> I know some people that have done that with really cool stuff. Anyway, so we have our product in the funnel now. So usually you can just loosen it up a bit and I like to just tap and what it'll do is the solid will fall down to one edge and then I can hold the filter paper with the spatula tap a bit, tap 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 give it a little scoop or three and there we go, we've got the compound out on a piece of paper there I have a pre-weighed vial, or you can use a beaker, doesn't matter, anything. Something that's you know the weight of. I pick up my paper very carefully, roll it into a little tube, and then I can just tap, 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 tap. Always put the garbage in your pocket, by the way. I hate it when I find them in the sinks over here. There we go. There we are. There we have our product, the brominated trans still bean. All we have to do is a melting point and you get one of these closed end capillary tubes and stick it in and tap, tap, tap to get the solid down the bottom, stick it in the melting point machine. Pretty much you're done. Clean up, write up your book and have fun when we see you in the lab.